Hi there, today we're going to practice adding tens. So if I show you the number 10, that really means 10 of something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 of them. So if we add another 10 to it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we have added two groups of 10, and we get the answer of 20. We have 20 total. Now notice something in our numbers didn't change. We, right here, notice we have a zero here, a zero here, a zero here. The only number that changed when we added up 10 plus 10 was the two. This one and one become two. Now, a little review of place value. When adding, we have the ones and then the tens. When you're adding with just tens, as we're practicing here, just tens, the ones never change because there's always zero ones. There's only the tens change. So let's try this with another one. Let's try adding 40 plus 30. If we look here, our ones are always going to be zero. So zero plus zero, with our step first step, is going to be what? That's right, zero. Now we just have to add our tens up. And we know that four plus three is seven, and it's seven tens, so four plus three, seven, for a total or sum of 70. What this really means is if we drew it by 10 sticks, one, two, three, four tens, plus one, two, three tens, if we count those all up, that's the same as seven tens, and seven tens is the same as 70. Let's go try another. Now what's going to happen if I add a 10 with just some ones? For instance, what if I added 60 and I added 5 to it? Well, in 60, are there any ones there? Nope, just a zero. So the ones are going to be just what I added to that 10. In this case, 5, because 5 plus 0 is 5. Now I have six tens and no tens here, so I'm going to just bring down my six tens for the answer of 65. It's the same as if I was using 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six ten sticks. That's the same as this number right here. 60, and I'm going to add five ones, and I'm just going to pick one, two, three, four, five ones. If we counted that up, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Now let's have you try one. Add 70 plus 20. What is that going to equal? Well, let's walk through it. We can add, we can switch it to vertical, 70 plus 20. Our ones stay the same as zero. And then we have to add seven tens plus two tens, which equals nine tens for a sum of 90. If you said 70 plus 20 is 90, you did an excellent job. Nice work. How about this number? 30 plus seven. Can you add that up for me? What do you get for a sum? Let's add our ones first. We always add our ones first. So seven plus zero is seven. And then add our tens. Three tens plus zero tens is three, or thirty and seven, or thirty-seven. Nice work. It's the same as saying we have one, two, three tens, we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Put them together, you get the answer of 37. Another way to think of it is when you're adding with tens, 
But seven's just going to shoot right up here because there's nothing here. There's it's just adding in from where the zero is in the ones. So three tens, seven ones, or thirty-seven. Let's do a word problem to review. Mike has thirty baseball cards and his brother has fifty baseball cards. How many do they have in all? So we know we're adding, so we're practicing adding tens. So what's our first step? That's right, let's draw out that we need 30 and 50. And we're trying to find them in all. So let's vertically add them. 30 plus 50. Can you find that sum? That's right. If you said 80, you are completely correct. We have 0 and 0 in the 1s. And just add our tens up. 5 tens plus 3 tens is 8 tens for a total of 80. So in all, they have 80. Great job. You've been practicing adding tens. Remember to add the ones first and then the tens. If you're adding just tens, there's always going to be none in the ones. So you're just practicing adding those tens up. Great work, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.